Bonjour tout le monde. Today we are going to talk about les pronoms sujets or subject pronouns. These also can be called les pronoms personnels. Now, a little bit of vocabulary before we get going. First, we have the sujet or the subject. And the sujet of a sentence is the person or thing doing the action. Then we have our verb, which is the action of the sentence. You'll see I have this sentence here. The dog eats a bone, so he is happy. In our sentence, the dog is our subject because the dog is what is doing the action of eating a bone. And then in the second half, he, still being the dog, is happy. A pronoun or a pronoun is a word that is used to replace a noun in order to avoid repetition. We don't want to sit here and say, the dog eats a bone, the bone is good. Instead, we want to replace the word bone with it in order to avoid repeating the word bone. And that is a pronoun. It is a pronoun in English. Then we have, we combine the two and we have un pronoun sujet, a subject pronoun, which is a word used to replace a subject in order to avoid repetition. So if we go back to our original sentence, the dog eats a bone, so he is happy. We have the dog, who's the sujet. And then in the second half of the sentence, we replace the dog with he. So we don't have to say the dog eats a bone, the dog is happy. Instead, we say the dog eats a bone, so he is happy. He is our subject pronoun. Now, in English, we have many subject pronouns. We have I, you, he, she, it, we, y'all, or you plural, and they. Let's go ahead and learn about how we do these in French. So you'll see on this chart in our subject pronouns in French, we have singulier, singular subject pronouns, and plural, plural subject pronouns, meaning that these singular subject pronouns are only replacing one subject. So examples of singular subject pronouns in English are I, you, he, she, and it. Those are our singular subject pronouns in English. Our plural subject pronouns in English are we, y'all, or you plural, and they. We also have three persons. We have our first person or our première personne, our deuxième personne, and our troisième personne. Our first person is referring to the person doing the action being involved in whatever they are saying. So our first person singular in English is I. Our first person plural is we, because the speaker is involved in whatever they're talking about. I am happy, the speaker is involved. I, the speaker, am involved. For the plural first person, we, I'm talking about myself and other people, we are happy. For the second person, the speaker is speaking to somebody else or to multiple people, and they're both involved in the conversation. So for our singular second person in English, it's you. I'm talking to you, we're both involved in the conversation. Our plural second person is y'all or you plural. So I am talking to y'all, many of you, and we're all involved in this conversation. Our third person, is the person in which the speaker is talking about somebody else who's not involved in the conversation, okay? So le tro la troisième personne, um, singular in English, is he or she. So I'm talking about that guy and I'm saying he has crazy shoes. That guy doesn't know that I'm talking about him, okay? He is not involved in the conversation. I'm talking to somebody else, but I'm talking about him. He has crazy shoes. She also has crazy shoes. Oh, it is nuts over there. Okay, that's not involved in the conversation. Um, for our plural in English, we have just one subject pronoun, which is they. Okay, I'm talking about that group of people over there. They don't know that I'm talking about them. They are not involved in the conversation, but I'm saying, oh, they are crazy. Now, in French, our first person singular is actually je, je.
Okay, our first person plural is nu. Okay, so it's nu, me, je, and a bunch of other people. Nu. Then we have tu. Okay, you and I are in the conversation. Tu. Vu. So multiple of you guys, we are all in the conversation. Vu. Then our third person singular, we have three options. We have il, elle, or on. Okay, il is for the he. So we're talking about, or he is crazy. So you see that these two people are talking. He is not involved in the conversation, but they are talking about him, saying he is crazy, il est fou. Same thing happens for feminine. So if we have some people talking about a girl, okay, elle est folle, okay, she is crazy. And then we use on when we're talking about an unspecified person that we're talking about. So in English, a lot of times you'll say, oh, um, it's important that you do your homework. In French, we use on instead of saying you when we're not talking specifically about one person or to one person, okay? So we could say, il faut qu'on fasse les devoirs. One must do the homework, or it's important that you do your homework, it's important that one does their homework. Oh. Then for our third person plural, just like for our third person singular, we have a masculine form if we're talking about a group of guys, them, they are crazy and they're all guys. And then elle, if they are crazy and they're all girls. Now, if you have a mixed group, then you need to make sure that you use the il form, the masculine form, okay? So if there's a group of 100 girls and one guy, you are going to use the il form, okay? The guys take it over. You can't use the el unless you only have a group of all women. If there's any guy involved in who you are talking about, then you must use the il form right here. Bien. All right, and those are our subject pronouns in French. Now, make sure you copy down this chart. We have uh, this chart right here that shows you the different subject pronouns and then gives you a little action or something like that. Um, so it, it's got a picture that describes je is pointing at me. Nu is pointing at all of us, okay, nu. Vu is one girl or one person pointing at a group of other people and see that they have eye contact. They are looking at each other because they're involved in the conversation. But then once we get into the third person, because these people are not involved in the conversation, that um, is the third person. So you see these people are looking at each other and they're talking about this guy who is not involved in the conversation, okay? So just make sure you copy down this chart. You don't have to do the drawings. We're going to do that in class together. Okay, à bientôt.